All right, well, I brought Jay to a second location. This is where I've been here before. This is where the Williamstown Colliery was. And that tunnel back there should be familiar to you. I've been to that tunnel a number of times. But uh, I'm also going to take him to the other side of Big Lake Mountain to where Bear Valley is. So I'm looking forward to taking him there. So we're gonna, we just came here first to see the south end of the Williamstown Tunnel. Um, of course, this, that tunnel was used to bring coal from Bear Valley to this side of the mountain to be processed here at the Williamstown Colliery. There's some cool stories about that tunnel too. I think I mentioned that before in another video. Some people died in that tunnel already. So, um, at the south end, we can only walk in so far. Um, but the north end, it's kind of cooler. You can walk in a little bit more. It's a little more creepy. So, anyway, we'll get to, we'll spend just a little bit of time here and then uh, we'll head over to the other side of the mountain. Right there's the, the tunnel. Yeah, I was just telling Jay about the people that died in this tunnel. Some of the workers who were coming back from Bear Valley. They sit in the back of the, one of the railroad cars and they died from, I guess you could call it asphyxiation from the steam engine. So, some people think this place is haunted. Yeah, I read that they actually deliberately like blasted it shut. Yeah. Coming down from the top. Yeah. That's as far, fortunately as far as you can go. Yeah, you can see the brickwork keeps going, but it's almost like they dug because there's a road that actually goes above this, so it's almost like they opened it up and just filled this in. It's kind of a shame. All right, so we're gonna eventually head over to the other side and continue this video video on the other side where you see the north end and you actually see the, the old town that's on that side. It's just some cool foundations over there. And like, like I said, I've been there before, so if you watch my videos, some of, that, some of that will be familiar, but it's still a really cool area to see, so. It's kind of fun bringing him here to show some of my favorite places. There's JP out there. This is kind of what's left of the colliery up here. I'm not sure why they left this behind. All right, we are headed to the uh, north side of that tunnel now. I'm back in one of my favorite places. Uh, this is Bear, Bear Valley. It was an old coal mining town back here. Um, and I think several winters ago, I actually met someone who lived back here. He's like 96 years, well, he was 96. I don't be older than that now if he's still alive so there are some cool ruins up here of the coal mining town and but most importantly the other end of that tunnels up here and last time I was here I said I would never go back into that tunnel again but uh I'm gonna do it today again so but I got someone else with me I got because I got JP here so last time I was here it looked like it was collapsing you know, a little bit so it seemed a little unsafe but I'm gonna check it out again anyway All right, we've come, we parked way down there somewhere, but this is the first little set of ruins here that you come to. There's one of these uh, 
deer fences that the game commission has, you gotta access these little yellow gates to kind of get through here. But I'm not really sure what this building was for, but it's a nice little concrete structure here. And the tunnel is nearby. I told Jay he has to find it, so it wasn't easy to find. So this is probably just a little office area maybe. Or something. There's a lot more ruins just going up that way. Alright, we're just there. And I had him lead us and he, he went the right direction. I found it. When I, when I came looking for this first time, I headed way up that way where all the foundations are. I thought it was up there, but nope, it was all the way down here. And if you look at old pictures of this, you can see, in the old pictures, you can see where that old wall is. And that there's the, the entrance to it. And it looks like you can't go in. It is backfilled. But when you climb to the top, there's a little surprise. It's still there, the opening. I do love the stone face on it here. So the opening is still here. I'm surprised they haven't actually uh, covered it up yet again, but we're gonna go check it out. You know we have to go in there, so. <laughs> I've been in there, I don't know how many times. I've been in there two times already, so this is my third time. Last time I was here, I said I would never go back in again, but anyway, I lied, so. Third time's a charm. Yeah, so last time I was in here, it looked like the ceiling was collapsing a little bit, but I'm gonna go in anyway. <laughs> so, so we just gotta get uh, geared up and then we'll head down in, get our lights and hats on and stuff. All right, so he already went on down in, so we're gonna go down, catch up with him down there. Here we go, I'll take you down with me. This might be awkward. Here we are. Let's get some light on the subject. And and we are down. You see the formation of the uh, ice out there on the ground? Oh yeah, like a little. Like little candles almost. Yeah, that there's where we squeezed out of. <laughs> it very much resembles a coal mine, even though it's not a coal shaft. It's just a yeah, this is... through the tunnel. Yeah, that ceiling is worse than last time I was here. Yeah, this is eventually going to come down. Yeah, this is where I came the first time. I thought this was a dead end. It's not? Nope, you can crawl up over there. Yeah, he's right, it keeps going. This is what we call in a mine, a stoked out area. Big cavity. So that's actually like that because all the material fell down right here. So yep. not man-made, it was a partial collapse. Oh, after you. <laughs> after me. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off to get down in there. Well, I made it to the other side. A little bit lower in here. I try to film GP as he comes down. Oh, this is neat. 
You sure this wasn't a, a coal, a coal shaft? No, they did find coal as they were digging through, but. But they didn't mine it for coal. It was just the tunnel. I read that they were. They did uh, mine, you know, horizontally through when oh. they came across the veins of coal. So if you could keep going, you would find mine shafts on either side. But oh yeah, there's a coal vein right there. Yeah. There are these neat like wooden pillars in here. Have you ever see that shiny area right there? That is a vein of coal, or as I call it, coal seam. Right here on the ground. Probably don't think we're for support. No. We probably had another use. You have to understand too, we're staying on top of rubble. This would have been kind of flat going inwards. I'm just looking at some of the there's a nice coal vein right up here. Surprised they didn't really go after some of this stuff, but I guess other stuff to do. Oh. Look at me, you go off in that direction. Oh, continue inward. And I eventually went up onto the south side where we started our video. So, yeah, I see it. Oh, cool. Look at that over there. Though. Yeah, I saw that. I don't know if that's man made or just the I did not see natural that opening. The last time I was here. Uh oh. <laughs> this. This looks all newish, almost. Oh wow! You know what clips they can. I gotta turn the camera off for a moment. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna show you what I was looking at back here. There's like a whole some coal mine workings back here that I never noticed were back here before. So looks like it goes back a little ways, but it's pretty. Sorry, got caught. It looks pretty sketchy back there, though. So, that is all coal right there. That is interesting. Almost be worth come back here and digging it up. <laughs> well, not for me, but. All right, I got back out of here. Yeah, someone's actually been in here recently digging around. So there's some fresh, fresh pocket there. So I don't know. I'm not sure. Right up there too, to your left. There's another one. Right there. Oh yeah, over here too. Yeah. I don't remember seeing that last time I was here, but oh well. well we're gonna start making our way out. came back out that first collapse. Jay pointed out this nice arch going back into the other part of the tunnel. So I wonder if that's where the rock work stopped. Just gonna get a picture of that. tried to wall it off at one time there. It's a gate, sort of. All right, well, I'm gonna make my way out. Easier than it looks. <laughs> it's all slippery. Alright, so we're back up to where some of the buildings were for the mining company that was back here. He's going to check out that little one. Now, I always thought they were little outhouses, but 
someone told me later if they like more for storing dynamite or something. There's one over there. Big ruin right there. And there's on the other side of this deer fence, there are several ruins. There's one back there. So. And up in there is the one building I went in where you can like go like underground the foundation. We'll see. Maybe we'll see if we do that today or not. I don't know. Maybe I'll get JP to go under there. <laughs> I barely fit, so maybe maybe he won't do that. Yeah, here's one of these little buildings. I guess I always thought it would look like an outhouse, but I don't know. Yeah, this is, we were just down there at that little building, but I always think this is like the Lego house. There's like a bunch of Lego blocks, all these deep channels and stuff. Somebody told me once that this might be the hoist house. But. That wall there's actually collapsed in. Look at the size of that uh, insulator. I'm not keeping it here, but just below the sill there's three more large anchors or something and it should have a brick building. There's uh, more insulators, it's like an old pole. Right oh there. yeah, those are the old electrical poles. Yeah, he's already in the next one. This is the one where you can go underneath. I made a video there's like a secret room back in there. Let's see if you can find it. What did you go into there? He's going to go explore that one. But that one over there is where. There's another room back in that way. Because I wasn't here the first time, I could look. There's little pipes you can look through. And I noticed that there was another room further back underneath this area. So I crawled in through that other area and went to like a back room. It was pretty neat. So I might do it again today. We'll see. Look at all the pipes here. Up on top of this, this is the bottom of. Alright, so he just went in that one. He's gonna go back in that one again and shine a light through one of the pipes as I get back in there. So this is a tight squeeze. So I forgot how narrow this was. Alright. Here we go. I do fit though. Hope you can see. Oh, oh boy. I can actually walk with both feet. So one of these tunnels, 
Is that? Oh, there he is. Yeah, we can see him. So he's in another room. I don't see his light anymore. I can see you. <laughs> I did find bones back here. Oh, here's more bones. There's like a leg bone down there. It just kind of ends. So. All right. <laughs> Pretty cold out here. I'll try to walk back. Not really sure what this is for. There he is. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pass on that one. All right, well, I'm gonna squeeze him out of here again. This is really tight. Back there? No, just bones. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of cool buildings around here, but I'm sure some of them were some neat things down there. But we're gonna start making our way back. So on our way back, we noticed this huge collapse, probably like a substance collapse into a probably like a, a mine here or something. And uh, we noticed over here that there's a older collapse and then of course he points out that there's a little a little hole back there so I gotta go check that out we'll see where that goes all right let's take a look together this part doesn't go in oh wait a second uh oh <laughs> hold on a second Uh, I gotta get my head in there, I'll be right back. I'm gonna try and show you what it looks like in here. It's kinda tight. So this might be a little awkward. Let me let the, set up the camera. Right, I hope they can see there is it does go down in there. I'm not sure how well that's showing up. It's kinda hard to situate in here. It definitely goes. Ugh. I almost have to crawl in here. Hold on a second. All right, so I actually crawled down in here. You can see the outside world over there. But uh, there is, hold on. There's like a little cavity down in there. I can't tell how far it goes really. It's just awkward down here, but it's intriguing. So, all right, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck. All right. All right, so that was intriguing. And if you watch his, video of this you'll be able to see me crawling in and out of there um, it was a pretty tight squeeze let me stand next to it so that's where I crawled into down in there so and uh, I know it was quite difficult to see what I was looking at in there because it was just very it was just very awkward in there to try and film and with the light and everything but we're kind of standing in a collapse right now so um, there was probably a larger cavity underneath here at one time and collapsed in so but it's still kind of cool, so I, I can't stay out of there, these holes. So, alrighty, we're gonna continue uh, heading back. Yeah, so down there was just where we were, but we're gonna head back, wrap the video up here. So it is definitely more fun sometimes exploring with someone else. Um, 
I don't know if I would have crawled in there by myself. I mean, I probably would have anyway, but, but it feels safer when you have someone else with, you know, in case, who knows, if I did get stuck, someone could at least try to, at least try to pull me out, so. The thing he doesn't know is I would have left him in there. Yeah, still. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> so, but we're gonna, we're gonna head back to the truck now, and we got a bit of a drive to get back to where he parked, and then, uh, but, all right, we'll see you around. Hopefully, <laughs> unless we find another hole.